This is how to program the typical settings. You want to put your four digit code, 8888, press OK. And I think these settings are a bit high, so I make up my own settings. So you can toggle over. And if you wanted for pain therapy, you're welcome to try out these different attachments and try out the settings that they have here. Now let's program the fiber optic. So I've programmed lesions and sensitivity. You can see the power is 1.6, the frequency is 50, duty cycle is 50, my 30 second timer, my average power 0.8, and I have the 976 scheduled. And three is my aiming beam, okay? Now let's program LBR. So we would wanna push the title there Make sure cap locks is on because I like to have it capitalized. L, B, R, we're gonna press enter. And the power is 1.4. Press okay. The frequency is 20 Hertz. And we have a 50% duty cycle. Now this, uh, um, ha you have to have time on. So I program 240 seconds so that I know when four minutes is up. Ideally, you're probably gonna do the whole mouth in four to five minutes. This would be a good gauge because when you're ready to laser, you're gonna press the on off button. It's gonna make sure that you've bent your tip appropriately. You're wearing safety glasses. We're wearing our safety glasses to make sure that the wavelength matches the wavelength on the laser. We're gonna press yes. And now our laser is ready to go. Now, when we wanna fire the laser, we press and hold this button and you're gonna watch the seconds count down. So if we pick our finger up off the finger switch, it just stops and you can continue lasering. So this way you know when four minutes is up, technically you should be doing about four minutes the entire mouth. When you, if you need to change the power or adjust anything, you have to turn the machine off and adjust it, then turn it back on. Now let's program LD. So let's call this LD. Cap locks is on, L and then D. We're gonna save that. Power, let's do 0.5 and we want continuous wave, and then time. This is completely up to you. If you didn't want to treat anything more than, let's say 10 seconds, you could set it to 10. If you didn't want to worry about the time, maybe you set it to 300. So time is honestly personal preference. And let's just set it for 10 seconds to not treat a pocket longer than that. And if we wanted to save it, our aiming beam is on high, we would save. Excellent. Now for doctor procedures, I program troughing. We have two watts. Let's change the frequency here to 50 hertz. 50% 50 duty cycle, average power of one. We're on the 450, any beam is high. Let's save this. Now if I wanted to program, let's say gingivectomy. And you can abbreviate these if you'd like. Oops, I want to capitalize the G. gingivectomy, we're going to do 1.2. Our frequency is going to be 50 hertz. Actually, we want the average power here. I messed that up. 50 hertz. Let's do 2.0 here. 50 hertz, average power of 1 watt, and now we want to be on that 450. Aiming beam is on high and we would wanna save this. 
and you would just go down the line for every dentist procedure. We'll program one more here. Let's do gingival plasty here. So cap locks, G. Save that. Power now, we're gonna toggle this down to 0.6. And I have it on continuous wave. We want it on the 976. And then timing can honestly be whatever you want. You could change this to 60 seconds. It just means that the laser will stop and you'll have to pick up your finger off the finger switch and press it again. And if we wanted to save this, we would press save. So now whenever we log in, we have all of our favorite settings and it allows you to save a lot of favorites. So you have 12 favorite options and this is how to set up the settings for the woodpecker laser.